One of the big features, I think, about Monday Night Raw is going to be Triple H versus Dean Ambrose. WWE has a, I guess, a live special. Um, they, they don't want to uh, sort of water this down by calling it a pay-per-view um, like everything else. Uh, this is basically supposed to be looked at as nothing more than a house show. Uh, maybe look at it sort of like it would be a Saturday night's main event or something like that. But this is going to be a three-hour bonanza which is going down on Saturday. Um, I found out that I got to work, um, so I'll be watching it uh, on tape delay on on demand um, once I get home. But uh, I'm sure with Monday Night Raw, Dean Ambrose and Triple H is going to be a, the, the highlight because they are trying to push um, Roadblock as a new thing. It's not something that's been around before. Honestly, in my mind, I think that maybe last year um, they looked at the month that was in between the Elimination Chamber and, no, there was no Elimination Chamber, in between Fastlane and WrestleMania. And maybe people that were looking to save a buck canceled the WWE Network and didn't have it for the month of March, seeing how you could sign up the day of WrestleMania and you have $9.99 in your pocket. Honestly, in my mind, I know this is getting way off the topic, but uh, I've been watching a lot of the classic WrestleManias. Uh, I'm currently halfway through WrestleMania um, 17, and then for some other reason, I watched half of WrestleMania uh, 18 the other day. Um, so there's a lot of big... Uh, no, no, I said that I, I, I was WrestleMania 19 I was watching, and then I went, and then the next day I started WrestleMania um, 18. So I'm saving WrestleMania 17 for when Pinko gets home from college. Um, we were going to watch that. But um, it, it, it's weird. I, I mean, definitely the one thing about WrestleMania that makes it special is that there is no pay-per-view before the pay-per-view. And you give time to really sink things in. Uh, because what I think is it's going to be, it's going to be hard for us. We saw last week. We saw Ambrose ask for the match, and then basically Triple H had his goons out there, Del Rio, um, Wade Barrett, Sheamus, and Rusev, they all beat down on Dean Ambrose and left him laying, and then Triple H came out there and finished the job up and beat him up, and then... Uh, Triple H thought he was made fun of when uh, Ambrose thanked him for the match. So he came down there and he beat him up some more um, and left Ambrose laying. Ambrose went into SmackDown. Uh, he had a match against uh, Kevin Owens. Uh, it was a non-title match for the Intercontinental Championship where Ambrose ended up getting the win. But when it comes down to pushing Ambrose on Raw, I've been watching wrestling for a long time. You can't... Uh, you know, embarrass your your upcoming challenger this times in a row. So you would think that he's going to get the comeuppance against Triple H. Because if Triple H beat him up last week, and Triple H beat him up again this week, that would normally mean with a pay-per-view that Ambrose is going to win the championship. But we all know that's not going to happen because of WrestleMania. So is Triple H actually get a show face and, you know, actually let Ambrose get some comeuppance on him because WrestleMania is right up around the corner. Roadblock is on is on Saturday, and then you've got two Raws, and then there's WrestleMania. So Triple H, who's going to be losing the championship more than likely, um, is going to need to be looking kind of strong here. I think that he's going to win the match, definitely win the match. Um, but definitely, there's going to be have to be something to make Ambrose look like a viable contender to be going after the WWE Championship at uh, the paper. Well, I guess no, not at the pay-per-view. Uh, well, on Monday Night Raw, he's going to have to look strong to be going up against uh, Triple H at Roadblock.